Hello everyone, welcome to the study hacks in Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily track the cyclone path using Google Earth Engine and use of remote sensing technique. So I will try to explain all of details. So I hope after completing this tutorial, you are able to do for any cyclone tracking and you can easily detect the cyclone area using satellite imagery. So in this case, I want to work for the cyclone Ampan, which happened May 92, 21 in year of 2020. So I will explain all of details. So mainly I want to create this type of cyclone center, then max wind speed, and also body screw color. Okay. So basically uses the visible band to create true color composite to visualize the cloud pattern. We can easily identify for the cloud pattern for that. And also we can calculate the maximum wind speed in the cyclone. We can easily find out that wind speed and also find out that cyclone center. So let's go try to uh, calculate this type of things. So basically this cyclone center is optional, it's not smart in this time. So you can also put the accurate data from the cyclone center uh, from the GPS location, then it will be more better. So basically in this case, I tried to discuss about the two layer. One is the mode is true color pattern. Another is the max wind speed. So I'll try to explain all of the details one by one. So I hope you can really get this idea how it will work. So first of all, I simply define my study area. So basically in this case, I tried to define my study area. This is the Bay of Bengal. Just I take the rectangle, Bay of Bengal. And I want to use, first of all, I take the lens uh, Modistra imagery. So this is the Modistra imagery. And from this imagery, we can easily find out the pattern of cloud pattern. We can easily find out. And after filtering this image for my cyclone period in Ampan, so just I simply put this time, mainly 19 May to 2021 May in year of 2020. So just I simply filter and then filter bounds with my study area AOI. So this is my image collection and further I simply take the RGB mainly red, green and blue band. So further I simply put the band look like that and then try to add the visualization and create the median composite and clip with my study area. So then I can easily get this type of cloud pattern and this cloud pattern mainly generate from um, Modistra imagery. We can generate so this type of cloud pattern. Okay, so after creating the cloud pattern, we need to calculate the wind speed. So for calculating the wind speed, I simply call the ERA5 data set. So basically, from this data, we can easily find out that wind speed, where is the high, where is the we can easily find out and let provide the daily wind speed data we can easily get from here. And I simply filtered the data. Basically, I want to use this data set ERA5. It provides the uh, mainly from here you can easily generate calculated the speed using the formula. So basically, I want to use this band. Uh, basically, we find out the band uh, look like that. You can see I will open the band name also. Mm. So we find out this is the one band U component of wind 10 meter. Also you can see this is another V component of wind 10 meter. So now from here we calculate the speed. So just to simply take this image collection also fill out the image collection and also fill out my study area and select only for the two band which I need and calculate the wind speed magnitude. So for that I simply select the band and I put the formula uh, Y square A plus D square square root a square root of y square plus d square and I, it's a wind speed we calculate the wind speed and further we simply get the maximum wind speed during the period during the cyclone period we take the maximum wind speed so for that I simply use at the max so now it calculated the maximum wind speed and if you just open the layer so we find out this type of layer so basically this is the cyclone I'm fun we can easily find out in here and for this place, we find out that maximum wind speed in this time period, we find out, okay. 
So this is the wind speed layer. We can calculate it. And further, we can easily export the, you can also put the cyclone crack. So cyclone crack in the cyclone center, you can easily get it from your uh, sources, in the historical data. If you check, then you also get it the cyclone center data. But using the MODIS imagery and also use the ERA5 data set, we can easily detect the cyclone speed as well as you can also get this type of cloud pattern from the MODIS Accra imagery. So this is the process further i also try to explain about the other process how we can easily apply and detect and also tracking the cyclone then i hope you, it also more helpful for you so in the meantime i also give you an announcement for our coming online training program so now our wrist is the open if you want you can also join our live training program on google earth engine and learn all of things from beginners to advanced level so this class will be start from 13 december so now this registration is open and first 10 register will get the 50% discount on this online training program. So if you want to get the 50% discount on this online training program, as soon as possible, simply complete your registration and join our Google Classroom and the WhatsApp group for the upcoming batch. So basically, this is the total seven days online training program. Every Friday and Saturday in a week, I take the class and class duration only four hours each day. And time, this is the time, GMT plus six. And mainly in this online training program, you will learn everything from beginners to advanced level. If you have no knowledge about the coding, mainly JavaScript or Python or Google Earth Engine, don't worry about that. You will learn everything from stress and go to the advanced level. And after completing this online training program, you are able to do any types of remote sensing analysis using Google Earth Engine very quickly. So here you can see all of course content I already added for the first day, second day, third day. So you can get all of information from this video description. If you want, you can also visit my website and also check all of information for course syllabus. And when you want to join this online training program, you also get some benefits such as you can get the course e-certificate. After submitting all of assignment, you can get the course material, mainly slide or PDF. You also get the practice code. Every practice code you can easily get after the live session, you can easily get all of practice code. As well as you also get the recorded class. Sometimes if you miss any live session, you can easily cover using the recorded class. And one thing is very important. You also get the lifetime teaching support. It's very important as a beginners because as a beginners, when you start the learning Google Earth Engine, you face a lot of problem. So that's why you need the continuous support to learn the Google Earth Engine properly. So that's why I also provide you the lifetime teaching support when you face any problem regarding this online training program or content, when you face any problem, you can get the support and continuously you can learn the Google Earth Engine. So if you want to join this online training program, simply contact in this email, or if you want to also contact with this WhatsApp number, I already provide all of information in the video description. So simply check and further, if you want to join, then simply contact with me. So today is no more. Thank you for watching that. Stay happy, stay safe.